the beginning, there were five crystals of creation. They were scattered to the far reaches of wild space and protected by guardians. One such guardian was Belenac, an ancient black dragon. Killed for his knowledge by the Atlantid and Meroki, he placed his consciousness in an orb and placed it on a ship. Now, his adventurers search for the other crystals before they fall into the wrong hands. Our adventurers met some new friends on the back of a giant space whale. Kurgan bounded to a crystal of creation, an ancient artifact from Kryn, and Lee continued to have relationship issues. Will our adventurers make it to Ravnica in one piece, discover more crystals of creation, or end up heading to couples therapy? Only time will tell. We left you guys off. Tex, you were in your room with a couple of gnomes. Yep. And partying and kind of doing your thing. Uh, Lee, what's your character doing right now? I think you were heading down to your room. In yeah, I was. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you were heading down to your room. And Jay, you... Let's go with you right now. So you are in a meditative state, deep sleep, and you hear something in the distance. Master J. Master J. Master J. Mm -hmm. And you open your eyes and you see Trowman. And he's got your hand on your shoulder and he's like, Master J, can, here, uh, it's time to get up. You've been in this state for a while. I've been trying to wake you. Oh, uh, yeah. I guess I got deep into meditation. And I apologize. Yeah, no problem. Um, and you see behind him, there is a group of gnomes just partying away in the hallway right outside your room. And you see Toak is leading a bunch of gnomes around saying, hey, this is the, the crew who sleeps down here. And yep, this is Kurgan's bedroom. And there are girls like, oh, my God, this is Kurgan's bedroom. And they start knocking on his door as uh, Toak's ushering down deeper into the ship, kind of giving tours. And that's what you see in Master Chalman, who has a cup of coffee for you. Uh, Jay will uh, take the cup of coffee. Um, wow, I've missed a lot, it seems. Yeah. Um, Tex woke me up at 3 in the morning and ended up we're docked on a space whale. Well, you guys are pretty interesting to be around. But you're wanted up on deck now. Toak is giving tours and it's time for you to get up. You've slept a good seven hours. Okay, then. I'll uh, be right up soon. Jay, um, what are you wearing right now? Anyway. Uh, J Jay is wearing, um, I think, dark blue robes with uh, his cloak of eyes on top of it. The, do you have pockets on this cloak of eyes? Uh, he probably has pockets on his robe. I don't yeah, think he has pockets on the cloak of eyes. Well, you notice that there's a piece of paper in the pocket of your rope. Jay will pick it up and see if he can read this. You can. It says mind wipe and it's in your handwriting. I remember that conversation in the meditative realm, right? You do. That you you remember the one in the meditative realm, but the one that you were just in was in Sigil. And you mm -hmm. went to the Outlands. You remember that. Um oh uh before you leave Shaman, uh, yeah, what do you need? Did I have anyone come visit me while I was in here? Um, I came in and seeing how you were doing, and I dropped off some laundry. I tried not to wake you. You were in pretty deep sleep, or I think you're asleep. Sometimes you have your eyes open, and it's kind of freaky. So, um, I just come in and left, and then... I was told by Toak to wake you up at this time, so got some coffee for you. But that, no one that I know have been in, has been in here. Jay frowns and like crumples up a piece of paper, and uh, with a flick of, uh, and then with a flick of his hand, it kind of bursts into flame as he lights it on fire with a 
elemental attunement. Okay. And it's on fire, but um, you do hear um, a warning. Fire, fire, fire. Warning over. Does everyone hear that or just Jay hear it? Everybody hears it. It goes across the ship. Oh, yeah, we're probably in, like, a flaw distant or whatever. I shouldn't be lighting things on fire. Mm. Yeah, but it was such a small piece. Luckily, you were not outside. You were in your room, so there was no flaw distant around. But can be dangerous. Anything else Jay. you want to do here, Jay? I mean, Jay will attempt to try and think of um, any, like, blank spots in his memory recently. Okay, that would be a wisdom roll here. Okay. Wisdom check. And I'm looking for a 15. 21. Okay. You go into your mind. And you've been doing your meditative for a while now. And you know that in your short-term memory, there's little pockets of memory that you can look into. And each pocket of memory, if you study it long enough or go back to it, it goes into another memory bank a long-term memory and you're going into your short-term memory right now and you feel something and it doesn't look like it was wiped it looks like it was smoothed over it's hard your hand touches the memory and kind of goes over it and gone but there's something behind it somebody has covered it with something where you can't access it um i will look down i will uh, unwrap my right eye hand, I believe. Okay. And it opens up and it looks right at you. And, um, because I'm in my room, I'll pro- I've probably kept a uh, stole paper from text at this point, or I'm, uh... Taking... Yeah, there's paper around. I oh, will, yeah. I will write down on a piece of paper, uh, blink once for yes. Do you... Dang it. I'm gonna Do mark you... off one of the spell pages. Do you know why I might not have all of my memory? And I'll hold it up to the eye. It does not blink. It's a long shot anyways, I suppose. Uh, he will uh, wrap the eye up again. Okay. And head outside, trying to figure out what the hell that blocked out memory could possibly hold. Okay, so you walk up the stairs to the top of the ship, and now you're seeing what was once a major rager. Think of a kegger at a party, and it's dwindling down. Your deck has gnomes giggling, falling over. Um, Some are being ushered out of the helm area by Dresden, trying to keep the gnomes out of the helm. And there's, off in the distance is a huge, gigantic whale with Tent City built up on its back. And there's a bunch of people there and there's, uh, on the whale and there's a good time and music is slowly dying. People are passed, more passed out than partying right now. And that's what you see. Seems like you all had fun without me, huh? And we're going to go downstairs into the room with Lee. What are you doing, Lee? Uh, well, I came down to, I guess, check on Sue Lee because I'd been away for too long. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I think I'll end up staying there and just resting for a little bit. Okay. And, yep, yeah, she goes in and she says... So, someone shot my box. Who was it? It's one of those. I know it as they're trying to steal my stuff. We need to get out of here. Uh, shot your box? Are you sure it was one of them? Yes, because my box is locked, and whoever tries to remove it is trying to steal stuff, and it's it's an alarm system, and it closes up, and it's locked. So one of these guys came in here and tried to steal something. I think it's Tex. Yeah. Um, I think maybe you're overreacting. Maybe we should just, uh... Go ask him? Fine. And 
I can tell if he's lying. So let's go. And if he's lying, then you promise we can leave, right? Uh, yeah. Then we can leave. Okay, let's go. So you guys get up, and she goes in your uh, on your shoulder, and you're heading over to the Texas room. Uh, uh. Oh God! Okay. Uh. Uh, that is not so, something I wanted to hear. All right. So uh... he is such a degenerate. Let's. That's a no. Let's get out of here. Come on. No, 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 no. He'll be done soon. Let's just ask him. Just to make sure. All right. So, <laughs> who, well, for how long? You, you go first. <laughs> <laughs> you, knock, you knock the door open, not me. Uh, <laughs> I'm opening this door. All right, all right, all right. Hey, Tex. You. Uh, Whoa! Why are you reaching there, little gnome? You. Uh, <laughs> hey. Uh, so Suli wanted to ask you a question. Go can ahead. it can it wait or it, uh, I'm no. really in the middle of oh god oh man that's what a liar would say see let's get out of here he's lying no 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 we gotta we gotta ask Tex first we can't just leave without asking him don't you want to know what happened I'm just hearing more and more thumps of disturbing variety and like. Hey. Tex Tex uh, really needs you to open the door these two gnomes. Are like oh, we're out of here. They wrap themselves uh, in, in, in pillowcases, not sheets, and get up and. I wrap and, myself in like my blanket, like just <laughs> over like my waistline. The, the, like I my hat sort of tilted yeah. to the side and open the door. What? And these two like, wasn't that... ghostly shapes like dart under his legs and or run up the the stairs of the um ship and they're gone. You know how rare it is for me to find gnomes that are into this stuff. And that can take it, you know. Like it's it's a it's a rough life out of here, man. What what do you need? What's so pressing that you had to interrupt me? You stole something from my box. I know it. You are in there, and you're the only one that would do it. So did you steal something from my box, or, or try to pick the box? Roll me. No, no, no. I didn't wisdom. steal. Any. Roll me a wisdom saving throw, fifteen or higher. Mm, right. Oh, that's just wisdom check, but we can just use the roll and add, uh... No, it's the same thing either way. Okay. So you you feel this charm starting to overcome you, and you easily bat it away, and it dissipates on you. Okay, go ahead. First off, I don't take too kindly of trying to be charmed when I'm in the middle of having fun here, but no, I did not steal anything. Why? Because I, I know you're a liar. I'm not a liar. I'm a very honest man. As you can see, I was very honest with them not too long ago. Am I right, Lee? And I, I, like, I give them my little elbow. Uh, but anyways, no, I didn't steal anything. What would I have that I could... What would I... What could I want to steal? You're, like, you're trying you don't have a tumbleweed, do you? No, I do you have a, You have a tumbleweed? I, oh, well, then you don't have anything I need. If I ever catch you coming near my box, I tell you what, I'm going to take this whole ship and I'm going to ship it to the other side of wild space. Good luck with the Olympic Empire. Oh, man, you're really spooking me with your two inches over there. Uh, but no, <laughs> I have plenty of boxes to enjoy. I don't need yours. And I look at back the gnomes as they've, as they've wandered off. Okay, so what, she's getting so angry that you said that, that you see the bottom of her dress, this whirling shape of a tornado start to appear, and it gets bigger, and it starts encompassing all three of you. I need you to roll uh, Lee and Tex. I need you to roll me a wisdom saving throw of a 17 or higher. I can destroy the ship that we've only just started okay. repairing. Okay. She sends you all the way out of the ship, and you are going like the Willy Wonka uh, boat down this uh, tunnel. And at the end of this whirlwind tunnel, you end up on a beach. Palm tree, ocean lapping, and you just plop both of you on the ground on the beach, and she hovers above you. Now, I'm sick and tired of this man treating me like crap. Like what? Like crew? Crap. 
And oh, I'm just crap. gonna be here on this island if you just do not treat me with more respect. If I say anything here, I'm gonna it's gonna come out bad, so I'm just gonna say silent. Okay. It's a nice island though. Yeah. It is really nice. It's actually pretty sweet. Uh, there's actually a lawn chair there, and there's a mixed drink right there. On the, on Shit, the I'm sitting down and taking the drink. I mean, yeah. yeah, she sit down and you got a little mixed drink. Yeah. Okay, and Lee, what are you doing? Yeah, so I'm with Tex, right? So yeah, you both plop down on this beach. Okay. Yeah. Really so I mean, should have grabbed pants first before we got out yeah, here, though. Just, just, yeah. <laughs> just have my blanket, and my hat. <laughs> Um, <laughs> and his yeah, I mean, whole body, like his his uniform, is like white tan. It's white, 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 and then it's tan. Uh, like where he's, he's got a really <laughs> yep. bad tan. Yep. Oh yeah. You know Very I'm much farmer's tan. Start drinking, also. Okay. You guys are Why didn't you tell us you could go to a, a island? This is awesome. I can see this is fucking sweet. anywhere in wild space anytime I want, as long as I've been there before. And you treat me like I have nothing to do around this ship. Listen, just because Lee and I are in a relationship and we like each other, doesn't mean you have to point a gun at me or try to steal my box. We can work together. I didn't steal your box. I just was worried you were charming my friend as you attempted to charm me earlier. I mean, because that just seems a little messed up. But, uh, where was I? I had something important I was going to say. Ah, oh, I lost it. Damn. Never mind. It's the drink getting to me. Well, if that's the case, we're heading back. And the world All right. happens, and both of you <laughs> come back to the ship, and she lands you right there, sand all on around your feet, and you plop down, and you still have the mixed drink in your hand, Tex. I stayed there for a little longer, but okay. Well, we have things to do. And she gets up and she flies away from both of you and back in her room and into her box and the lid shuts. Oh, and that's what I was going to say. I was going to say, I even invited you out to the party and everything, so I understand what the problem is. Did you really not steal any of her stuff? No, I didn't steal anything. What What could I want? <laughs> like, what could she have that I need? I don't know, but like, this is getting out of hand. Yeah. <laughs> we really have to do something. Yeah. Oh yeah, I was gonna talk to Jay about it in a little bit because he's he's more of a sound mind guy. He could give us some clear advice. I'm not really too great with affairs of the heart. I'm more of affairs of the body and just affairs in general. Yeah, <laughs> I'll, I'll let you get back to that. Maybe I'll go find Jay. Yeah. And you yeah, I should probably put on pants. You step out of your room and you see Rocker is like shooing these gnomes with a broom, like up the stairs. Get. Get, get out of here! And he's, like, going from room to room and knocking all these gnomes out and up the stairs and kind of getting them off the ship. So, you guys are heading up on top of the ship. You see Jay. Jay is just staring at a massive whale off in the distance of Wild Space. And this scene on top of your deck of passed out gnomes and a, just remnants of a party. What are you guys doing? Uh, hmm. Uh, I have a couple things I would like to do. Uh, if anyone else wants to do their things first, I'll wait for that. Actually, uh, first just, one let's get Kurgan in here. Kurgan, you are, yeah. you are in your room. There is... You're trying to get some sleep. You've had a double shift. You had a one short rest. You're running on fumes. You got bonded by a crystal of creation. You're exhausted, and there's teeny bopper girls, gnomes, knocking on your door wanting to come in. And you have... What are you doing? Uh, every time they knock on my door, I'm just going to say uh, something along the lines of, uh, no thank you, I'm doing research. Or oh, that I'm talked, training. Or he talked to me. Like he talked to me. He was talking to me. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yo, and they're just camping out like at, at your door right now. So uh, you you get a little bit of rest, 
Not much, but enough that I will call it you got a long rest. Oh, and you're the that. last one to get up on top of the ship if you want to. But you're in your room after a long rest. What are you doing? Uh, I guess I'm going to... I don't know, meet up with the rest of the... The, the crew, I guess, talk about what we're going to be doing next. Okay. You open up the door, and you have to, there's about three gnomes, w- girls, that are sleeping and fell asleep at your door. All right, I guess I'm going to try and uh, stealth my way to Yes, you are. Roll yep. a uh, stealth. Come on, baby. Plus one. Well. Twelve. Looking for a 12. Five! That is, you step right on one that you didn't know, and shrieking, you touched me! And she, like, is trying to get your shoe, and, like, take your your shoe off of you, because she wants to keep it as a keepsake. And they're all around you. Oh my gosh, oh, hello! And she's, they're, they're just, like, fawning over you. What are you doing? I'm uh, just going to raise my foot in the air so, so that she can't uh, take it. Latch on. Uh, and yeah, she and even strength. if she is latched on. Yeah, strength 10. A strength check? Yeah. And I'm going to roll a d20 for her. My girl gnome deserves a roll. Here we go. <laughs> oh, I got a 13. What did you get? I got a 14. Ooh, barely. Let's just say you got your foot. Uh, she got the shoe. Oh, she got your shoe with a 13. Just missed it, mm-hmm. so you broke you broke free. But she's got your shoe, and she's gonna run off. But you, you it's an opportunity uh, attack here, so she's running off. But what are you doing? Uh, can I just try and grapple her to get my shoe back? Of course back? you can. It's an opportunity attack, so uh, you can. What is it? I'm gonna How say. Do we see this as this happens? As he's sort of leaving, or dex to my strength. I have to roll dex? Yep, because you're reaching out to grab her, grab her and she's going to try to... Oh, that was athletics. Oh, athletics, yeah, go ahead. Athletics. Here's her D. Oh, all right. right. Minus three. Oh, I got a three. She, she's not very... Athletic. Okay. Well, I got a 26. So easily grab her. Yep, and she's, you pick her up, her feet are still running. She's got her shoes. It's like, oh, I almost got away with it. And she, you, like you, my you, my hand is like encompassing her entire waist or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. She's up in there, and she you, you easily got the shoe back. Holding her like a sandwich. <laughs> Nom. What do you do? <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm gonna get the shoe back. You got it. You got it. And I'm going to okay. uh, <laughs> I'm going to walk to uh the rest of the crew with yeah. like. My my sh- my foot that still has the shoe on. I'm yep. just gonna slide it along the ground so that they don't yeah. manage to latch on and take that one too. Are you still holding this uh, other note? Oh no, I put it down once I got my shoe back. Okay. Okay. So you you put it. She runs off, and the other ones are keeping their distance. As you make it up and you go to the top of the deck, you see Lee and. Attacks are looking at Jay as Jay stares off into the this massive whale off into the distance. What are you guys doing? Uh, so, uh, what's uh, what's exactly going on here? Do you guys know? I have no well, there's that creature out there still, whatever that is. Uh, you mean the the whale that brought the people? Is that what it's called, a whale? I guess it is large. I've heard that expression before, but uh, it's definitely new to me. Uh, yeah, that we're just sort of eyeing that up. <laughs> Texas, like, I thought a whale was when you you hit something a bunch. Yeah, like a whale on it. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. It's dead on. <laughs> it's exactly what he thought a whale was. I know. Uh. I was meditating. Um, why did we host a party? Oh, uh, Curian got a new stone. He got really stoned. Um, and, uh, now he's king of the gnomes. He, yeah, he's he's actually not very far off for once. Then he met with a princess and then totally did her. 
Well, that that Probably. I didn't. Although I did meet her, I I didn't really have the chance. Ah, was too many come on, man! Were coming in. <laughs> you could have been coming in. Anyways, uh, that is gross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And there's uh. Like, and there's like a, a bunch of gnomes on the other side of the door going like. I wish he. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna finish that. <laughs> well, yeah, you didn't finish. Uh, but anyways, uh, Jay, Jay, um, can I potentially talk to you for a sec? Lee, I'm just, if you mind, just hang with Kirigan for just a moment. I just have a quick little word. I would like mm -hmm. to pick his pick his mind about your sort of with this sort of situation we're in. And I'm gonna wave Jay off to the side. Jay will uh, step over, a slightly puzzled look on his face. All right, you know the short stack, the little pixie girl. Yes, the one that fairy me like a puppy. Yeah, um, she's really into charm and magic, and I'm pretty sure uh, Lee is being, you know, charmed. Uh, she's tried to do it several times on me. Sometimes I've resisted. Sometimes I haven't. I don't think we should hurt her, but I'm not sure if that's from the charm or just me being a good dude, which is the scary part. But she's definitely uh, doing something to him, and she got real weird when we saw one of those guys who was her ex, as if there was some sort of issue with that. So I don't, I don't. There, there's something off about her, and she's oddly obsessed with Lee. Like, he's a fun dude, but like he's obsessed, obsessed. Okay, I mean, what would you like to do? I can, we can attempt to throw her off the ship or something, but she'll just fly back. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I was just wondering if you had any sort of experience with these sort of mind tricks and stuff like that. You seem like a man who's sounder, sounder wits than I. I know I'm never going to say that out loud to anyone else other than you. Uh, and I'm never going to say that again, but I figured you'd probably be the one to come to here because you seem to be all meditation-y and, you know, in touch with your feelings or whatever. That's not quite what it is. I can put myself into a state to prevent such magics from affecting me. Uh, yeah. But without a certain plan, I don't know what else she can this fairy can do. I can... Like I oh, said, she can also teleport us to places in wild space? Small detail there. Kind of important, probably. So, I don't know, maybe we can hook her on some other guy. I know it'll be sad for Lee to have to deal with that, but if we hook her on some other guy, then maybe we can get rid of her that way. Uh, eh? That's a good plan in theory, but if the fairy likes Lee that much, it'll take a quite a silver tongue in order to convince her to step away from Lee. And that's a what do you think I'm here for? I just need you to slap me out of it if I start at acting weird, acting sus, as the, as they say. That I can attempt. Um, okay. Maybe we should speak to Toalk about it. Have him maybe whip up like a some sort of charm resistant thing, or I don't know. A fake creature, yes. I think so. Uh, she got wings and she's short, so I assume that's a fey. I'm not quite as edumacated as most people are regarding all these different types of things. Uh, hold on, let me just check to see if Jay would know about thing. Uh, I know that there are spells out there that could um, get her out of our hair, banish her to someplace else if she doesn't come from here, but... Other than that, mm. I don't know of any spells that could help. Um, if you want to try and convince her, I'm, I'll be there to help. But mm. if it and if it comes down to the fight, to a fight, I'm not past attacking her, and mm -hmm. I can try and keep Lee from. I could try to keep Lee um, uh, still. Docile, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Also. Uh, I tried to just, like, move her box just to see what the hell that thing was about, but it was, like, welded onto the, the side of Lee's desk. It was pretty insane. So, there's some 
something fucky going on there. Uh, Tex, um, could you do a, uh, this is an odd request. Could you look through your memories? Are you missing any memories? Something short term over the past few hours? Uh, let's see. I got pretty drunk the other day. Uh, so you mean like blacked out or something different? I woke up with a piece of paper in my handwriting that said mind wipe, and there's a memory I don't recall. Ooh, that's oh, that's additionally good to hear. I'm glad we don't have any issues on this ship. We're just, you know, happy-go-lucky space crew on our way to a shadowy place that might kill us. And your memory's failing you. Oh, goody. Oh, boy, that's... Uh, um, do I have any issues or memories I don't remember? Um, Jay has been practicing the art of meditation for close to probably a decade of his life. So he, mm-hmm. he would... He's far... What you can recall is... Uh, barely what the gnomes' names were as they ran up the stairs. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't really paying attention to them, so that's fair. It's not but I'm just, like, curious. Do I, like, have any, like, specific, like, blocks to, like, roll for something just to see if I would... Um, could... All right, I'll give you... You can roll at disadvantage, and you got to give me a 22. I'll give you a shot. With, with what? To, uh, just wisdom. roll two natural 20s. Wisdom. 20s. wisdom. Two nat twenties right here. Oh, you did. And it roll was a nat twenty. 20. Uh, oh. You sure you didn't say advantage? I did not. I did not. Oh. You're, oh. You're, you're, <laughs> you sit there. You look up and you're like, for a split second, you think you had a memory, and no, it, it's not there. No, I can't think no, not to my knowledge. Like the only time I ever had like this sort of that sort of thing would be when I was in the cave and my sister was gone with Jack Daniels, but that was a long time ago. And obviously that's a lot different than what I expected it to be. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, shit's gone a little off the walls as far as that. Which is a whole other bucket of bullshit I gotta deal with now. Alright, well, um... <laughs> let's keep this information to ourselves probably about that. And stuff. you said mind wipe, right? Mind you wrote wipe. down? Yeah, mind I blank. It was something I wrote, um... It's written in my handwriting, and I know I'm forgetting something. Alright. Okay. I'll make a quick little note to myself. Don't forget J-Mind, and then I'm gonna put it in my... Like, inside of my cup pocket. Just, like, in the inside of my, like, my, uh, shirt. You're gonna need to buy another crayon. You're really getting to the bottom of this one. I'm really running out. Yeah, and purple's my favorite I flavor. I know. Hippopotamus. <sighs> All right. Running out of Crayola to eat. Oh, oh. One person on your crew that is not Tex and Jay as they're in this conversation, roll me a perception. And I'm looking for a 13. Actually, both of you. Ashley, Lee, and Kieran. Both roll me a perception. I'm looking for a 13. Rolling perception. 19. Beautiful and Lee. Uh, seven. No, seven. You're, you're looking off in some some other distance, but Kirian, you see a shape traveling towards you at a great rate of speed. I will give you one action before this thing appears. What are you doing? Um, I'm just gonna say. Uh, guys, you want me to leave kind of quickly, and then I, I guess I sort of run to, uh... Do we have something that turns the ship invisible? Yeah, we do. Ooh. Okay, I guess I will touch that until someone takes over for me. Okay, so you get on it. You're invisible just as an lithid ship comes into vicinity. Stops. Then another lifted ship stops, and then another lifted ship stops, then another lifted ship stops, and then another lifted ship Jesus Christ! Then another lifted ship stops, then another lifted ship stops. Off into time to leave. You turn invisible. You are the whale is still visible, and we will roll for initiative. 
Alright. <laughs> I have, you have a, an 18. You can't have a frickin' um, uh, what do you call it? Easy day. <laughs> you had an yeah, easy day yeah. last, last, last session. The only easy day was yesterday. Yo. Oof. So, Jay, you're up. What are you doing? Um, you you see all this now. Fuck. Because Kiergan warned um. you. You look up and you see you're being swarmed by a lifted ships. What direction is our ship pointed? Um... That's facing where the whale's nose is. You're okay. kind of both facing the same direction. Um, Jay will uh, quickly um, sprint up to the uh, captain's deck. Yep. Helm, yeah. Yep. Are there still gnomes on board? Uh, oh, yeah. Not... Yeah, there's still some gnomes on board. And the gnomes belong to the whale, right? The gnomes belong to the whale. Yes. Where's we the can... Cobalt ship? You do not know right now. It, it's Probably slow. Like it's way like slower than your ship. Behind us. <laughs> yeah, there we we have a jet and they have a sailboat. Yeah, they're they're super slow, but they'll get there eventually. Um. Well, uh, Jay will get on the helm and put four key points into it. And then just zoom. Okay, so this is since it is going to be Kurgan's turn. He's getting in there and he's going to go. You've already used your action to get there. We're going to need you to roll me a strength check with straight roll because you don't have anybody with you right now for advantage. And you're docked. It's going to be a tough shot. I'm going to give you a third. No, make it a 14. To Who's rolling? Me. Kurgan. Kurgan's turn. Kurgan. If he wants. That's his action. But if not, your ship is uh, straight. Well, just, if, if straight won't collide us with the whale. You're right? dock, so say one of his dorsal mm. fins might get in the way. Or, um, because you're, the gnomes are going on and off. So you got to kind of veer off to your right to, like, break free. Or you're kind of kind of rub up against this. Your wing's going to rub right up against this this the whale. So would I be able to run to the thing, rage, and then uh, turn it, or you can? No, nah, you, you have you have an action, a bonus action, and movement here. So you could do whatever you okay. want. It's your it's your turn. You're, you're okay, lucky. I guess I will try <clears throat> try and do that. If, I will run up to the thing. I will rage. Yep. And then I will roll uh, with advantage, I believe. Oh, hold on. Hold tight. I just remembered. You went to the invisibility orb, didn't you? Yeah, I was hoping you didn't remember that. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. Kurgan, this... You are on the invisibility orb. He got in there and put four key points in. You have a decision to make here. What are you doing? We need to stay invisible. We just need them to not see us. We need to get out of here. Well, uh, did Jay say that we were just getting out of here? Jay, Jay is leaving. Uh, Jay said. Uh, Jay was. Uh, Jay ran up and said we're out, and then started because Jay needs to. We cannot deal with seven Ithilid ships. We can teleport people back onto the whale later. Oh, uh, God, I don't... I don't want to leave these guys to die. They're going to they're gonna get ate by the squid faces. Uh, What's your decision? Fine, I'm just sticking on to the invisibility thing. All right, it's going, your, your ship is going straight at the end of this turn here, so it's going to take damage, and knowing if it takes damage, you're out of invisibility. Oh, if it takes damage, we're out of invisibility? Yeah, be, well, oh. well, they'll, I thought have, if it a, was they'll have a roll to see for perception, but pieces of your ship will be well, no longer invisible. Uh, okay, I thought... Also, there, what's our ship's health at? Because I 183 do not know. out of 300, but weren't we repaired slightly? Yeah, I'll give you uh, 3d10 uh, temporary hit points. These are temp hit points. 
It was 16 extra temp hit points, so that's yeah. 199 hit points out of 300. Yeah. Got it. Okay, Can't so what, what should I do guys. now? Well, yeah. If we, yeah, if we fully few. drop invisibility, if we take damage, then... Well, we'll invisibility. You, so, they'll know where you're at then and get the fire at you. Because they'll see the debris, or they'll have a chance to see it. I'll always give you a roll. How fast do we move if I put four key points in it? Um, yeah. In this melee map, it's going to be 500 feet a uh, key point. 500 feet a key point? Then we are out. Yeah, you're That's... out. But don't forget, they have similar speed. <laughs> Yo, I can go as fast as we can. What's the AC of the ship? 13 or something like that? Uh, HP of the ship or AC? A A AC, AC. AC yeah. is 15. Without wait, the wait, wait. Um, I have where's one Timmy? Ship right there that can give I was going to say, where is Timmy? You, you do not know. Oh, oh Timmy's Timmy. on the whale. Okay, He's I'm going to be on the whale. In He's that case, whale. I'm dropping invisibility and doing the turning thing. Okay. You drop invisibility. You are um, on the run with your movement to the wing. Roll me a strength with straight roll, and I set a 14. Well, I'm, I'm raging now, raging. so does that give advantage, or...? Yes, and with your rage now, you get advantage. All right. Let's see. Baby, that's two natural ones. Oh, oh my oh god. My god. Jeez. The well, one in four hundred chance. Uh. That actually is. Wow. So yeah. you, the rope you turn to, snaps on you at the wrong moment. You put too much weight into this thing and just snaps, and it lifts the other direction. And now you're just your your side of your ship is just rubbing right up against this whale, and pieces are breaking off of uh, the railing. <laughs> as it's going across the ship. Okay, it is, uh, it's my turn. Okay, heal area. We're just leaving Timmy? Um, we're not leaving Timmy. <laughs> we'll come back. But we need to not be in the center of seven Ithalid ships. It's not seven. It is seven. Oh, it's more than seven. Sorry. <laughs> okay, you can move your ship 2,000. Did you? All right. Yep. And we're out. No, you aren't. Because they can follow. We're out of the melee yeah. range. You're out of the melee range. Alright, so this guy can get right there. It's going to fire on you. Let's do it. To your ship. One attack. Seven. Two yeah. attacks. Twenty-two. It's illegal. What's illegal? It's illegal. You're not allowed to do two, two attacks. What? Yes, I can. 26. I mean, he's the DM. 26 Oops. piercing damage. Ow, there goes all our attempt. Yep. Alright. And I will move this one over here. This one comes over to here. It is going to fire on you. Two attacks. It can it reach from 200 feet? It reaches 300 feet. Damn it. Reaches 300 for these uh, ballistas. One and two. 23 and a 15. Okay, yeah, 23 and 19. 19. Both hit. Ow. And... Boom. These, you are taking huge chunks. The whale is being surrounded by ships, and they are pelting the whale with ballista arrows, and it looks like it's pretty bad. Artex, you're up. Uh, what the fuck can I even do? What's the sh thing? You can go on the Delicious. shield, give us a 20 AC. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. That works for me. And. Um, on your invisibility orb, what is this? How many times can you do it a day? Once. Uh, Ooh, yeah. Once a day, and it lasts for an hour. 
Oof. So you yeah. used it. <laughs> you used it and it's done. That's a, that's all. It Thanks. Says. Like, oh, no, that that gets rid of all damage because it just says once a day the ship can cloak itself, locate in the battle deck. It lasts for one hour and that's all it says. Yeah. All right. So Tex, you are on the shield and the shield around your ship. It's the. All right, guys. We need to get the fuck out of here. Okay. So what you see off in the distance is the whale starts to like almost grow in size as it rotates over and out of its bolt the blowhole water shoots out and knocks one of these ships out of the way it just poosh, hits the ship all of a sudden hundreds of dolphins start flying off this whale and there's a gnome on the back of each one of these dolphins and it is firing away like at these dreadnoughts and circling them. There's about a hundred dolphins flying around this thing and they're, this, these dreadnoughts are taking some damage here. And that's what you can see from this distance. It is back to the top. Jay, you're up. What are you doing? Go oh, faster. I, I will know. call like, Kurgan to revert. Can we like, see what's like ahead of us? Like a 2,000 feet, like where we're straight ahead? It's like we're going to keep going this way, right? Yep, you're going straight. Mm -hmm. So, like, can we see what's out there? Like, any, like, rocks or something so we know if we need to turn on? You can... Well, I would... Potentially. You can... There's a telescope that you can go. Oh. And somebody's uh, going to get on it. Um, Dresden... Can, can we say Lee's on that? Um, or Dresden's on that? Sure, you can... You can see Lee. Where, what, where do you want to see? Ping, ping it. Just... Uh, ahead that. of us, right? So... He just wants ping. to know that if we're, so we're not cr uh, crashing. Going into a rock, yeah, like, all right, right there. Boom. Like right, just straight ahead. Like this area. That's what you see. I, I guess that works, yeah. What? Oh, isn't that... Oh, it's with the chain and ships. Yep. Cool. <laughs> Fun times. I will... Then where's the, 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 the... This fast area in relation? Uh, the phlogiston? She must have come from that. Yeah, you're yeah. just in... You're not really familiar with space. It's like you're kind of disoriented because you you don't really work on. I mean, yeah, Tex Tex doesn't know. But I'm just saying, like for the rest else, of the guys, like somebody else wants to tell. Them, like, they, I'll let them roll for. What are we rolling? Like where our exit point is? Perception. Uh, oh, want somebody. Can uh, Jake? Can they roll that. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Um, he's the one who flew us in here, so yeah, it's over right here. 18. You got a four. Four for 18. <laughs> yep, you found it. It's so it's it's right in this area right here. If you can see where I'm pinging. Uh, uh, uh ooh. Bottom right, bottom left, upper left, off uh, right. To your, to your Can't right. see it. All the way to your right. So. It's a, uh, a little bit right. below and a little bit to the right of the whale. Mm -hmm. So like right over here. There it is. Oh, here, I got it. Ask yeah. Jurgen to turn us around, and I'm going to put another key point into the um, engine. He and... is holding a broken rope to this wing. It needs to get repaired. It's going to go. Ooh. You can only turn ah. left now. You can only turn left. I wish I hadn't realized that. My bad. Oh, like I'm, like the the... I'm I'm talking about like doing a like 180. Yep. So if he, gets, so if he runs cool. over to the other side, you can use, give me a strength. And if I don't break that one. Yep. Yeah. And if he doesn't shatter that one, yeah, I'm going to ask him to do that and I'll put another key point into the engine. He runs by and, and he says, and Kurgan, do you say, hey, somebody hit me so I get lose a hit point so I can keep my rage. <laughs> I stab him uh... in his ass. <laughs> Somebody punch me. Uh, I'll use my reaction to ass snap. To the other let, me side. Actually, let me actually read my rage, because I might have... Uh, Level up past um, that point. Yeah. No, I don't think... Mm, uh, unfortunate. You can have Rockard stab you. <laughs> he can smack you with a one point of damage or something. A broom. Yeah, yeah. over the head with a broom. Yeah, like... <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I... Yeah, I 
I yell for someone to to get me mad, to yeah. like slap me or you something. You run past somebody, they get an opportunity attack, and they smack you upside the head. You lose one hit point. You keep your rage. You run over to the other side. <laughs> Go ahead, roll. Uh, you're away from damage, but you. Uh, it's a difficult because you're running. It's melee combat. I'm gonna give you a 13. Not too difficult. 13. You have advantage. Strength. Okay, come on. 13 with advantage, and I got nine. <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, wait. Uh, do I see? It's not gonna be worth it yeah, if I but see you it. Have to take your hands uh, off the shield. I can't just like do a little little neck twitch for my uh, no, for my no, reaction. It's, it's there to for my uh, it's, it, it, the, because I wanted him in action. My bend lock and action to be used. Well, it's a reaction. No, yeah, you can't but... do it. You have to use your. It won't allow you. You you'll lose the shield if you do it. Bullshit. <laughs> yeah, so... uh, okay. Well, Lee, I haven't heard from you. What are you doing here? Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> so, uh, the situation... If you can take over the shield for me, I can run to the, uh... I can run and fix the other wing. Okay. Okay, so, he is holding on to... He's on the helm area, which is the main command deck. And there's... On the dashboard, there's different orbs and different instruments there. And one's a shield. You just need to get up there and hold it. And it activates it, as long as you're holding on to it. So... Okay, so I'll r run up and hold the shield, though. Yep. Yep, so flawlessly you guys switch over text. You now are free to do what you want. What are you doing? I'm running over to the other, uh, the broken rope that's uh, sort of frayed, yep. and I'm going to look at it, and I'm going to cast Mending on it. Okay, so you cast I'm going to use my little, I'll pick a little thing and just sort of try to stick it together and sort of wiggle it between my magic hands and... Yep. You mend. Yep, you mend it. The the fibers connect and intertwine, and your rope the rope is now fixed. And but Kurgan's on the other side now, and he's trying to. Yeah, but at least we have we can turn both ways now. now so you, yeah, you fixed it. Okay. So we and, move, right? We still move away. Yeah, you gotta mm -hmm. move. He failed, so uh, two thousand more. Feet. Well. No, to th I said I was moving. I was at another key point, so we go all the way in the super far out. We go down here. Okay. So. Right. Mm hmm. Yep. I'm I, holding it. So. I thought that Kirkin could make a 13 with advantage. I'm sorry. So, <laughs> go. Ooh, move, move your barely shirt. cutting by that asteroid. Zoom. Yep. What in the hell's name is. All right. It is, uh, it is now. Jay, you're up. What are you doing? Dang it, Jay would go back. I hate that Jay would go back for Timmy. Jay's gonna ask Kirkin or Tex or anyone to reverse the ship, and we're gonna do something dumb. We're going to uh, put all my key points in, because who needs to stop this thing? Holy we're on a roll. Shit. Okay. Do we have, like, going... a battering ram or something? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Okay. We're about to crash into some ithalids. Oh, man. Okay, um, so... If Kirkin could yeah, uh, turn Kirkin, the ship around, it, he's okay. Are you, wait, are you? Uh, do you? Are you putting it full blast before he turns the ship around? Or are you? Or I'm allowing you to hold your action of putting it in until after he turns the ship around. After he turns the ship around, we're going to put it in full blast. Okay, so we don't, like, I would break raise the, the difficult. I would raise the difficulty if you did the other. Way. Okay, yeah. fourteen. Going around. Go ahead. Okay, I need a 14 Actually, yep. with advantage. Minus a hit Come point on, because Lockard comes buddy. up and spangs you on the top of the head with a broom. 17! Okay, flips it around. Okay. You fight. So, <laughs> ooh. We, okay, so can you unveil by the ship again, by the whale by, again, please? Yeah, Tyler? I certainly can. Alright, reveal. Okay. There you go. Go for it. Okay, this is gonna be it's gonna be hell of an interesting thing. How far? Ooh. Did you overshoot it? We're ooh, we're not overshooting. Um, just in range. We're just in range. We're gonna go right there, right by that one ithel. Okay. Can we hit him with our battering ram of like that? Of course you can. Yes. Roll. We're going, oh god! You know what I just realized. We could get some of like the the girl halflings or whatever to like hold on to the things that we need them to hold on to. Yep. 
11 to hit. Okay, and it is its armor class is a 15, so no. It, no advantage, come on. No advantage. <laughs> Oh, All right. One at four thousand feet every but six as you seconds. Go here, you see the battle has turned. The, these elithids did not expect these dolphins, which are really fast. They're like a thousand needles into the, these ships, but they're starting to take their damage, and they're hard to hit. They're really small, and the loading of these these catapults and these ballistas are taking too long, and they're too fast, and they're missing them. Uh, but the battle has turned. Also, you see there is an armored insect creature, and he is on one of these battle knot dreadnoughts, and he is slamming with these um, these fists with blades on them, and he's tearing into it. And then you see him open his chest cavity as he slammed into it, in a bright light. Have you ever seen Giver, the, the anime? Well, I have not, unfortunately. It's an old school anime. And he opens his chest plate and these lights of radiant energy enter the, this one right to your left and it just explodes in a fiery inferno and <laughs> no more. Sort of like an Iron Man or like a Thor, like the first one where the guy's shooting giant lasers from his face sort of thing, yeah, except chest, chest in this plate. case. Yeah, and he yeah. looks like an insect. Okay. And that's what you see. Hmm, all right. All right, it is Lee and then Tex. What are you doing? Um, I'm still holding the shield, right? Yep. Do you want to continue to do that? Uh, yeah, I think for now. Okay. Pretty good. Yeah. Tex. I'm, I'm turning on the teleporter and I'm just, uh, we have some ascending stones nearby, right? Or? Sure. Yeah. Hit me, I'm beaming you up. Get in now. And I hit the button. <laughs> <laughs> and Timmy, who is downstairs in his bed, <laughs> falls asleep, oh. and he's asleep. <laughs> he's, he's, he's asleep on the teleporter. I've made a mistake. He's sleeping in the teleporter, and he's looking around. It's like, what? Oh, what's going on? What? No, I thought you were still on the whale. This is much better. <laughs> yeah, I thought. Oh man, I thought he was on the whale. Ooh, how'd we come back? Well. Now we might Jay, well. he's not on the whale. He was in his bed. Okay, so it is. Then it is going to be their turn, and this, they are focusing it on you guys, though. Like some of the whales are are going to uh, occupy a lot of these illithid ships, but two break off, and they are going to fire one arrow. You got what's your armor cost now? Twenty. Some away from the ship. 20. One, and here is mm -hmm. eight. Not so, one. Okay, and all of a sudden, as this other alithid ship is about to fire, your kobold ship flies into fr in front of it, blocking it, and all of a sudden, these kobolds come flying out. Some they have wings, and they're flying towards this alithid ship and swarming this. Uh, a lithid ship with probably what 25 kobolds have, are on top of the ship like not breathing fire here but definitely uh, tearing into it and trying to get in kobold dragonborn yo yeah they out here okay and that's back to the top what are you guys doing well um considering we're still going at breakneck speed yes Kurgan uh Kurgan what um what what can Kurgan turn us? Which direction can Kurgan turn us right now? Well, Kurgan can turn you. To, he's on the left. He can we turn right. halfway through our movement, or do we have to keep going straight the entire time? Um, but can we like turn? Can we curve as we go? You can curve Is as you, you go. Yes, you can curve as you go, but you have to use a full movement unless he pulls no, back God. his keys, and he's going uh, really fast. We don't yeah, have any keys to pull back. <laughs> We don't have any keys to pull back. I used yeah. eight key points. So until uh, on! <laughs> yeah, until Talat gets up, we are going stupid fast. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All gas, no brakes. All gas, no brakes. Okay, this is gonna be eight. They're gonna take a op attacks at you here. Wait, oh, what if oh. we just? Yeah, I was gonna say, could we just turn right and just go 
You see, not that not that weird curve to like like G turn and break off speed. Yeah. Could we go through all three of these guys and battering ram them all? <laughs> of course, but I'm gonna give you a uh, disadvantage on the next last the second two. Okay. That's perfectly fine. We're about to do some nonsense and. Okay, but you were in the wrong direction, so that would be taking a right, which would now be Tex. Tex is holding the rope that he just. So how landed. about Kurgan moves over to that one? Hmm? Okay, Kurgan, <laughs> you're running over uh, to the other side. Kurgan, I'm gonna need a hand with this. Okay, so he runs over. Kurgan, are you do gonna do that? Are you gonna run over to the other side? I guess so. Okay, you run over, as you about to run over, a uh, rocker hits you in the face with a broom, taking another point of damage. <laughs> no, no, one of the one of the girls managed to get up on deck and just slaps me on the ass. Perfect, perfect, perfect. <laughs> and, and you get up to the rope and you give, you. this is going to be a more difficult 17 because of the elliptic ship and you're heading right towards this whale. So I'm going to, 17. Christ. With advantage. I don't care. I don't care how bad you turn. I just need you to turn so we don't crash into this twenty. Layer. Perfect. <laughs> he turned. Not in. that, but still. Okay. Okay. So we're about to do. We're about to do a big weird turn. So time to make uh, three attacks, two with disadvantage. Oh. Um. Uh, Nineteen to hit. Uh, yep. That hits. Uh, 12 damage to the front one. Okay, it, you smash into this one. The kobolds are on it. They break off, and but this ship is not doing good. Like, half of it is torn off, and the, and the kobolds are running into the hole that you just made. All right, keep moving. All right, and then we go... Ooh, Dis disadvantage ooh, look. on this one. Uh, why can't I move? Okay, and we go that to that one, and yep. time with disadvantage. Uh, 18. Hits. Nice. Okay, roll Three, damage. Six. Six damage. Okay, there's dolphins all around. As you slam into this one, it, like, tilts up like uh, doing a, a papa wheelie as you get underneath it, and you flip it upside down as you fly to the next one. Ooh, we go some more, and... 11. Misses. It just ducks out of the way as, as you fly by it. But still, two out of three hits is, is pretty good. Mm -hmm. God, my roll 20's bug. This sucks. Uh, so uh, uh, wait a second. You're like here to here. I can hold it for you. We, uh, and then we're turning. Kind of like there. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do a, a very, very wide curve and go like all the way down to this edge of the flaw distance. We're not we're not in the flaw distance yet. But well, we're you're go, always kind of like, in it. That's kind of like a river, a flaw distance that makes you go super fast. But man, we just gotta go that way. Yep. Yeah, we're gonna go back there, and depending on how this whale goes, because we just came in like a rocket. Yeah, you're flying, and you see uh, with your perception, Jay that the battle is turning, the illithid, the whale is holding its own. Um, the whale itself, its tail took one out. And these illithid and the kobolds and the dolphins, they got swarmed with, there's probably right now over 125, and whoever this insect person is, is tearing into these dreadnoughts. The battle is turning for sure. What are you doing? Yay. Um... Kurgan, one more go for your, uh, people? Are you their king now or what? I, 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 Let's I don't just know. get the hell out of here. They got it. It's turning. They got them. We're good. They can handle it. Let's get the fuck out of here. I'll be honest, it does look like they can't handle themselves. All right. Well, um, Jay will then give a mental shrug and pew into the flaw just to okay. away we go. Okay. And what speed are you doing now? Here we. I'm going to bring you guys to the main map here. All right. 
When he does that, I'm going to warp toe off to the teleporter and be like, All right, I need you on the bridge to stop us from eventually. Toak is... You are brakes. Yeah. Toak is tired, but he's up and he's willing to help. For sure. Not a full rest, but close. Let's see here. Where are you guys? You got... He's a warlock. He can do much with a lot of the short rest. All right, so you guys are right here. Uh, what direction were we going? That way. That way. And how fast are we going? We're trying to get to this dark circle in, thing. In the river, you see that? instead of feet, that's miles. There. So it's 500 mm -hmm. miles a key point. It's this way. So that's 4,000 miles. An hour or so. You got to do by... But as of right here, you're, you kind of have two different directions to go, and you don't know. When you get to this spot right here, you come to a crossroads. You can either take the river going up or the yellow river going it's up to you. We'll, we'll go. We'll go right. Why not? Why not? We'll go right. Follow the golden stream. Yeah, right. Piss joke. And, uh, so how much can we move? Can so let me... uh, we can move. So how many key points do you have? Yeah, four thousand an hour. And if I keep this up for eight, uh, I put eight key points into it, and I haven't stopped. So right. yeah, yeah. So that Definitely. makes us. If I go for eight hours, it's thirty-two thousand. Yep, eight times eight. Yep, is thirty-two thousand miles. Hey, we go directly to a new spot. Yeah. Da 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 da. Okay. Now an etheric. Okay, so let's go get to that one. You, it's eight hours. You guys are pretty exhausted. Your ship is beaten and battered. You need a place to rest. <laughs> You see there is an insect hives. It's like these hives of insects. And there's almost like, have you ever seen like projects in the inner city? There's just these, yeah. yeah, that's what you see, but they're made out of, it's a hive. And there's insects going in and out and there's bars and all that sorts of, it's like a city here. You're not in the sphere. You're just outside the sphere. Normally, I'd say we should stop here, but we got priorities, so let's just keep going. I you keep watch, need, I guess. Yeah, you do need some air a little bit, and Jay is eight yeah. hours in this helm, going at eight key points. He is exhausted. Wow, it's a collapse. Yeah. So, also, how's the the ring of piss that I have going around outside the ship? Is that still there? No, that's or is that lost? Gone. Me, that's gone. Uh, okay, that's gone. That's I wanted to speed this start going. That's so much. When we started going 4,000 miles an I hour. I figured, but I wanted to yeah. see anyways. I imagine yeah, that it was just splat. slingshotted along with us. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's now part of wild space. Somebody's going to go be like the Titanic at the front of the, the, the great yeah, piss front ring. Of, yep, front of the Titanic. Woman's out there, look at me, and then piss. Just <laughs> rain her. <laughs> All right. I'm the king of the world. <laughs> yeah, the Oh, I got in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Jay, you 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 detach from your helm. You're exhausted. What are you doing? Uh, Jay will uh, right before he goes to bed. He's going to uh, check up on the um, if the gnomes are still around. Did someone send them home? Well, there's. We said I sent them home on the there's way. A, there's three gnome girls. And they have started drawing posters of during this eight hours, have taken the room next to Kurrigan's, which right. used to be um, what's uh, Tor Torgon, Torgon's room. Yep. yep. And, oh, yeah. Ah, oh, Torgon. Are, are making Rip. pictures like posters of Kurrigan and and are starting decorating their room. Oh. Uh, Jay will like lean in the doorway and rub his eyes. Um, uh, do you guys want to be sent home, or are you sticking are you, around? Are you kidding me? Our savior is right next to us. We're gonna be right there every day, seeing this. This is gonna be the most. Um, I, this is what we're meant for. We are gonna starting the Kurgan fan club. You can be in it if you oh, want. No. I am gonna be president of the Kurgan fan club. Excuse me, I am already president of the Kurgan fan club. <laughs> I've been with him for 
literal months at this point. Well, this is great because the first episode of Kurgan is coming out and we need your stories to fill it. Yeah, I can definitely do oh. that. Uh, but if in order to do that, you're going to have to do some chores around here. You know, the, you got to work on the ship. You can't just sit around. But we can we can do start recording it on... Does this thing have crystals to record on? I don't know how all the technology works, but I can tell you all sorts of stories. Okay, well, that's fine. Let me come on over when you're ready, and let's start this new episode. First episode. This is going to be the greatest magazine ever. Okay, um, you got... I'm going to go meditate you guys have fun do i feel like i'm obligated to give a reminder um the last people to live in this room killed each other or well no only a little haunted they shriek in terror as they run out of this room and down the hall yeah i thought that would happen <laughs> uh, i i will see if they're good for the Ship. Uh, I don't want more blood on my hands. It feels like. Mm -hmm. Well, it's gonna be interesting to see how Lee's fairy reacts to this whole three new girls on the ship situation. I get a feeling it's not gonna be good. As long as they stay focused on Kurgan and stay away from me and Lee to cause not cause problems, I'm fine with it. Fair enough. And Towak comes up to you guys he you see in his room is a the robot which is j0 nn e uh, 3-5 he is actually working on a chair with wheels attaching to it and he's working on it as Tawak opens the door close it and says hey what's going on guys about to head up on top of the helm j uh, anything i should know um, I'm tired and we're on a hot, at a hive of insect people or whatever. Okay, well, that sounds like fun. Uh, anybody want to go on board? Any do anything? Or are we heading out of here? Uh, we need air and crew to work on the wings, if that's possible. All right, that's well, what the girls are for. All right, well, we'll what girls? Oh yeah. Uh, we got some gnomes on here. I know you're probably real excited. Wait, are you? You're a halfling. Never mind. No, I'm a gnome. Jesus. Oh, you are a gnome? Sorry. I'm out of here. I'm greedy and he leaves and he goes up. Oh, man, you gotta be real excited that Kurgan's with you then. Jesus. Rockers are the, the half. Never mind. And he goes up. And he gets in the chair and what he can do is only four spell. He goes into minor helm. So the minor helm can do f only four spell slots, which is 2,000 miles an hour. So you get enough air, uh, your ship is docked, you guys are kind of on guard here. Roughly, you guys have a now a way to go either space north or space south or space straight away when Jay wakes up. So we have a good eight hours with you, six hours with him. It is pretty monotonous voyage through this uh, Phlogiston River. There is times where you have to move to the left, move to the right, some traffic jams, but more than not, it is really boring. It's... Uh, what are you guys doing? I have, I, I have something I definitely want to do. If anyone else does want to do their thing first, they can go ahead, but I know something. It's been eating that text for a while here. Okay, let's let's go with Lee. I haven't heard from Lee in a bit. Lee, what are you, what are you <laughs> doing? You have plenty of time on this ship. I mean, most of my time will probably be with Dooley, so... Yep. Is there anything, go you find her. anything you want to accomplish with her, or, or not? Um, well, probably going to have to break it to her that there's more women on the ship, so... Probably well, go tell her that. I do not care about anybody else who are women on the ship. I just care that you and me are this. That's me. That's all I care about. Right. Um... Yeah, so Lee just kind of hangs out with her. Yeah, plus, I think they're all left up here again, which I like him much better than that tax guy. That tax guy is always trying to get in between. <laughs> Alright, so she is sitting in her box, and she's re-talking about all these different places that you guys can go to, and she does mention that the world that you went to before is all just 
pristine beaches that her, the fairies like to go visit every once in a while on vacation. <laughs> she kind of mentions we can go there whenever you want. Okay, yeah, we should go back soon then. Okay. All right, Tax, what are you doing? Uh, once all the when the main monotony part of it, where it's just nothing but open space, now I'll sort of you know finish explaining to me. Oh, sorry, thought you were on the whale. Blah blah blah. And then I'm gonna go back to my room. Got it. Take out my gun, have it turned to a bird, okay. and just sort of look at it for a second, and then sort of. So when we were in that cave, when I found you, there were several other statues. One for Bane, one for Shar, and one for. Cyric, I'm just gonna try to communicate with a bird. And try to ask, like, are am I Cyric? How's this work? Um, what is this about? Am I Cyric? Are you? So you're trying to communicate? Do, give me an. You can you can insight to see how it's feeling, but I'm thinking animal handling here. Literally talking to birds, I think. All right. going and I'm gonna give you a. No, no, it's <laughs> worth. He's talking to his gun. He's got a 17. So you can notice that it's hearing you and understanding you, but there's no way for it to communicate with you. That's what you. Think. <laughs> but it's intelligent. All right. It's, it's intelligent, sentient being. Call one for yes. Call twice for no. Uh. Are we supposed to wake up, Cyric? Is that why you're here with me? What is what is your deal? I just don't No, absolutely no. Stop. Who knows? Okay, all right, okay. No. Uh, because I was gonna say that'd be kind of an issue because that's sort of been the opposite of our situation. But you were on the same platform. Uh, I assume you were, unless I got Bane. Because I'm pretty sure Sarah got Shar. But that only is one of two options, and given that we fought Jack Daniels in the Church of Bane, I mean, I'm stupid, but I'm not dumb, so I only kind of put that together. Now, so I'm feeling you do remember that Bane, Bane's uh, ceramic bowl was not destroyed. Just one that was your bird was destroyed, and the words Bane were broken off, but there's something else attached to that word at the front end of it that you couldn't make out. So, mm-hmm. well, that's definitely something, then. Uh, other than that, I'll just go and try to check up on my boy Steve, the great god of chaos. And see how he's doing. Wisdom, and I'm looking for a 17. Nope. 13. No, Damn. Not, not feeling it. Not feeling Steve. Anything else you want to? No. Do? That'll be it. Okay. I mean, I'll talk to talk to Mel as well, but I know she's like imprisoned or something yeah. like that. Yeah, she's uh, probably not gonna be get too much out of that. Kerrigan, what are you doing? Uh, trying to avoid the gnomes. Okay, you can give me a stealth. Uh, you can give me a stealth. Uh, and looking for a twelve. Oh boy, let's see what that plus one gives me. Oh, an eighteen. Okay, perfect. You see them running in one direction like someone lit something on fire and they run up and out and you're able to sneak behind a pillar and uh, 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 the wooden mast and then off you go where are you going uh, I guess I'm uh, just gonna try and hang out in my room and since their room is right next to mine I guess I'll peek in to see what they were doing look at my uh, yeah. drawn on poster and be yeah. just there's, Ugh, there's a, a pictures of you very... Some are good and some are horrible. And there's writings all about... There's poetry to, about Kyrian and, and and how he's going to save them. And he's the savior. And it's really bad uh, teenage Ugh. poetry. Nothing's worse oh, than amateur God, poetry. Oh, these girls? Uh, they're, they're more in their, like... Uh, equivalent to a 17 year old 16 17 year old okay all right i didn't know your eyes were like obsidian kirgan <laughs> at least they're not like 15 or 13 or something no christ at we least don't need it... more children on our shit <laughs> oh god yeah okay so you get into your room and 
it is the next day, unless anybody else wants to do anything here. Um, that should be it. Jay would like to do something. Okay, Jay, what, did he, what would you like to do? It's not really anything specific, but Jay just wants to hang around, hang around uh, Lee and um, Lee's uh, friend. Oh, okay. So you... And make some small talk, occasionally meditate. Just be around them and trying to be friendly to both of them. Okay, so there's a knock on the door. And Jay, you're at the outside of the door. Lee? Uh, yeah, who is it? It's, um, Jay Mackinnon. Uh, sure. Uh, Jay will lean down and, uh, step through the door. Okay. Closing it behind him. Yep. And you see Suli is leaning in her bed in her box, and she looks up at you. Oh, it's Jay. I really like Jay. He's a good guy. He's one of the good ones. That tax is another thing. Hi, Jay. How are you? I'm good. Uh, I agree. Tex isn't really the best. He has caused a lot of problems for us in the past, especially giving away the Crystal Shard. No, I heard about that. Yeah, I was just, uh, wanting to check up on you two. Uh, I know sex has been a little... not great recently, to put it mildly. Agreed. So... What do you want to check out? We're doing great. See, I'm looking at my nails, and Lee has done a great job on doing my nails. She can do, or he can do yours. Uh, I mean... He thought he had the clear coat. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you're up for it, I, would, I wouldn't I would mind having my nails painted. It's See, not like I... This is why I like him. He can hang out over here. Come on. Well, I guess uh, Jay will get his nails painted with Lee. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Lee, roll me a wisdom saving throw of a 15. Or higher. A wisdom saving throw what or higher? For, for, for Lee. 14. Nope, you're painting nails. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, Jay has already covered himself in tattoos. Painted nails ain't really the biggest deal. Um. She does, when you hold out your hand with the eye, she kind of coil, recoils back a little bit. Um, that, what is that? I'm getting a weird energy from that. Um, it's an, well, I keep it wrapped, uh, because it's odd looking. Um, there's an eye in my hand and I don't know how to get rid of it. She flies close to it in almost like a noxious smell on her face, and she recoils back. That, that smells like the shadow thing. <laughs> that doesn't smell good. You should really get that checked out. <laughs> Would you know of a way to get rid of it? Any of your fairy magic might be able to do something? Um, well, the shadow thing is... The opposite of what we are. There's, I don't know, maybe a, a remove curse, maybe? I'm not really sure, but if it was more of Fey oriented, that could help you with shadow magic. It's something I don't even touch. You should get that checked out, though. I can send you somewhere that it might help you. Uh. No, thank you for the offer, though. I think I should stay on the ship in case <sighs> Tex decides to do something. <laughs> do something stupid again. Yeah. And I... Jay, like, leans in slightly. Don't tell him I... Don't tell him I heard this, but was he messing around with your stuff earlier? I think it was him, and I... Uh, it... He's the only one that would mess with my box. He was literally trying to break into it for like an hour the first time I met him. So, and then I come back and my box is locked as an alarm. And it was either, it was either him or someone else. But it wouldn't be Lee because Lee's allowed to do whatever he wants with my box. 
Wink, wink. <laughs> Um, why would uh, Hex even be interested? Isn't that just your bed, right? There's nothing interesting in there? Um, well, there, I have books, and I have little portals that I can... Hex can't read? Who <laughs> knows what they get? He's probably looking for nits. Like little tiny alpha models. I have a couple. That would be Tex. Yeah. <laughs> is is fairy alcohol particularly strong? No, not fairy. Would you say it's magically delicious? <laughs> Kill him. Get out. <laughs> I really get him dead. Wisdom saving throw of a forty, please. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. What are you guys? What are you guys doing? Anything? I uh, got a five. No, that didn't, that didn't make it. No more puns for the rest <laughs> of the campaign. That's right. That's right. <laughs> uh, nope. Other than uh, doing, getting uh, Manny petties with Lee and yep. Sully. Uh, okay. I think and, that's it. and it is the next day. You're ready. It's your shift. You're ready to go. Full air. Ready to go. Locked and loaded. You get mm -hmm. to the top of the ship. And before you get in... Who, where is, who's on the deck here? Who is manning the wings? Who's in the helm? Where's everybody? Jay will probably be on the helm, and Kurgan's running on the wings if we... All right, Lee, who, what are you, what are you going to do here? Are you going to stay in your room, or are you going to help up top side? What are you doing? I'll probably stay in my room. Okay, Tex, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm in the mess hall, just sort of like recounting stories of Kurgan to the girls as I'm eating breakfast. Oh yeah, having a uh, morning mojito. Yep. They're no mosa. Sorry. The, the girls are are actually helping Trauma, and Trauma needed the extra help. Uh, is really in he's task masking, um, mastering them to do things, uh, keeping them busy, and he he's imagining them. Gordon Ramsay. Yeah, <laughs> and. It's fucking raw! Oh, Jesus. These gnomes. <laughs> Alright, and, uh, Jay, as you're on board, you see a bright flash, and there is a person standing on your teleporter. Uh, do I recognize this person? You do. It's Blake. And he's like, dusts himself off. He's like, oh my god, I can't believe it freaking worked. I swore these guys were playing us. Hey, Jay, how's it going? Uh, I'm good. How are things on Draj? Draj? No way. I'm in car and I I'm do I'm running your place. In fact, yeah, how's uh, Texas doing? Texas, uh, Texas is doing good. Well, these gnomes came to our, you know, the the town hall and said they could set up a teleporter for you guys. And I swore it wouldn't work, but luckily for. Kaharin with Belenac, he's lets any spell jammer come in and out. Normally you can't teleport through a crystal sphere, but Belenac is able to do it. And you have a, a teleporter back to town anytime you want. Hmm. That's uh, nice to hear. Uh, yeah. Did the gnomes come in on a whale? No, no. These were gnomes that were spell jamming uh, and visited us for a little bit and were wanting to pay homage to Kurgan for some reason, and Jesus, Kurgan, uh, if you see oh, him, oh, he, lo he looks at you and he's like, here, Kurgan, your statue is killing everybody else's. Here you go. Here's a thousand gold pieces. Oh. Um. Th thanks. Yeah, That's no problem. That's stack of gold. <laughs> yeah, he plops down and this is for you guys. Yeah, Kurgan, uh, the, there's a bunch of gnomes that moved into your uh, dwelling. I don't know. There's tons of things you need to take care of there whenever you get a chance to get back. But, oh, my gosh. Uh, you're, you're you want to move into his house? I'm not there. I'm not there. I'm not there. In fact, when you tell Tex, tell him that uh, your place, your land, his land has turned into a tiefling village over there. They're, they set up a brothel, and uh, yeah. it's pretty interesting over there. Hell yeah. Well, he likes them more than me. <laughs> uh, so, he's like, well, 
I just wanted to say hi to everybody. I better be getting back. Uh, it's good to see everybody. And uh, yeah, yeah, good to good to, too, good to see you too. Yep. Good to see you guys. Hope to see you guys back at uh, in Kahar and, and disappears. Okay, you get in the helm. Um, I will right after I stop by Kirgu and say, um, I hate to ruin your newfound wealth, but do you mind putting that towards more repairs? Oh yeah, totally. Compl that that's completely understandable. But towards the ship gold, just for bookkeeping purposes. Yeah, or I'm you, you do. guys, the whole okay. thousand gold. All right. All Here's right. the current update for everybody to know. All right. There we are. And Jay, how many key points you put into this thing? Um, I don't want to go super fast. So I can't stop. But, um, I'll put four key points in. How many, how many uh, hours you want to go? Um, I'll put, do slightly longer because I'm putting in less. I'll put do twelve hours. Okay, so uh, with doing a turn through the way and going north, yeah, you're we're there. And as you fly through the Flagistan, you're starting to see signs that are saying, "Keep the two universes separate." The cult of the purest. It, and it says, it says, MTG universe should be separate from any other universe's cult of the purest. And there's a bunch of billboards that are up around here as you're flying by. All right. And I do believe, Toak, anybody want to do anything in this eight hour, 12 hour block? Okay. Hmm. So, no, I don't, I don't think so. Nothing particularly comes to mind. Tobak gets in. Dealt with most mission. We're gonna get you pretty much all the way. Oh, yeah. we'll say we we uh we uh, did our first magazine of the Kurgan tales yeah, yeah, yeah. is told by Tex. Yeah, yeah the, the, it, the it is the the the. Can I uh the missing battle or hand axe? The can I roll like a performance check or something to see how I told it? Of course. Yeah. Twenty. Twenty three. Hey. Embellishment is so and. You think Kyrgyz, I make myself look yeah, good? Of course, it, it seems like Kurgan is a, a real hero, but it was Tex who propped him up and made him who he was. Who rose and missed, just missed the hand axe. He disappeared into the darkness. And one day he'll locate that hand axe. There's one thing that Tex knows how to do: it's embellish a story. Yep. And as your ship, that and dick jokes. <laughs> And as your ship approaches and Tex is handing out the new magazine to everybody on board, you see the looming crystal sphere of the, I call it Dominion, the Dominion sphere, which houses all of Magic the Gathering's universes inside of it. You, and, and it's, you look in it and you can't see a planet or stars inside. It's real foggy of different fog and different clouds colors are all mixed in this crystal sphere and you're just about to enter it when we'll end this episode don't worry it's coming don't worry it's coming jesus oh!